Hi there, I'm Dr. Stephen Orland, a urologist with UCA Newtown and Pennington. I'm here today to speak with you for a few minutes about overactive bladder. Overactive bladder is a very common urologic condition that includes symptoms such as severe urge to urinate, which is a sudden urge, frequency, which means urinating many times over a 24-hour period, and urge incontinence, which means leakage of urine after that sudden urge. Overactive bladder can cause patients to withdraw from social interactions. It can also cause them fears of leakage in public and embarrassment, and it tend to withdraw from activities of their daily life. There are many different causes of overactive bladder. These causes include neurologic conditions such as Parkinson's disease, stroke, or multiple sclerosis. There can also be caused by high fluid intake or medical conditions which cause an imbalance between fluid intake and output, such as diabetes and kidney disease. There can also be medications such as diuretics, which cause an excessive amount of urine to be produced by the kidneys without the bladder being able to handle that load. There's also conditions such as urinary infections, which can mimic these symptoms of overactive bladder. There's intrinsic bladder conditions such as tumors or stones, as well as factors that cause outflow obstruction, such as enlarged prostate in men. There's also other conditions, such as conditions related to aging, such as loss of mental faculties in which the bladder and brain don't have their signals in line with each other. And finally, there's what I call idiopathic, which is a fancy medical word that means we shrug our shoulders and say, we really don't know. There are a number of different treatment options for the symptoms of overactive bladder. The first treatment that we always start with as urologists is behavioral therapy. Now, this includes things such as fluid restriction, timed voiding, and also having the patients know exactly what their input and output is over the course of a 24-hour period. We also have biofeedback, which is a way for the patient to understand the signals that they're getting from the bladder, as well as trying to do pelvic floor strengthening exercises to try to prevent the episodes of leakage. The second main treatment option is oral medical therapy. We have many medications that have been developed to treat the symptoms of overactive bladder. As with all medications, some of them work well in individual patients and in other patients they don't. These medications can also have side effects, so it's important to have an extensive discussion with your primary doctor or urologist before starting on any of these medications. The third group of options, what we call non-medical treatments, include newer therapies such as injection of Botox into the bladder wall to inhibit the bladder from squeezing so often, and various forms of what we call sacral nerve stimulation, which is basically utilizing electrical impulses to reorganize the signals going back and forth between the bladder and the spinal cord. In summary, overactive bladder is a very common but embarrassing condition for people. The symptoms can be very problematic and can cause people to withdraw from their daily activities. There are many good treatments for overactive bladder, and if you're interested, you can contact us at UCA Newtown and Pennington for further information. Thanks.